G'day everyone, this is the countdown of my top 20 songs of all time. We're down to number three now and it is yet another Australian act. It is The Church and the opening track of their 1985 album, Hey Day. It is called Murr. Uh, a bit of a fan favourite, this one, and I think for good reason. It encapsulates everything that is good about The Church. Uh, the brilliant guitar interplay between the two guitarists, Marty Wilson Piper and Peter Coppes. Um, the vocals and that driving bass line of Steve Kilby and those uh, dark, mysterious lyrics open to interpretation that uh, is a trademark of so much of Kilby's songwriting. It's just a beautiful track, this. I, I always think the church are uh, perhaps the most atmospheric band I've ever listened to and ever liked. And everything they do just conjures in your mind um, lush imagery and uh, no more so than this song. Always makes me think of uh, the Middle East and the desert. And uh, to that end, actually, there's one of the great uh, homemade film clips there on YouTube you can find pretty easily, which um, just says everything that I think of when I listen to this song. A brilliant uh, driving song too. I always play this when I'm driving anywhere. Indeed, this whole album, Hey Day, uh, it's a masterpiece and, in fact, for me, probably only fractionally behind uh, their follow-up to this Starfish as uh, the greatest album they've produced. And Starfish, of course, was a, a smash hit, uh, best known for their easily uh, most recognised track under the Milky Way. This is a couple of years before that. Uh, it was an album produced by English producer Peter Walsh who's done some fantastic work over the years, including another of my favourite albums, New Gold Dream by Simple Minds from 1982. And uh, he is the master of creating that rich uh, texture of, of sounds. Um, it sounds clean and crisp and um, just very evocative. And, and this track just sums it up. It, it's, um, you wouldn't call it, it's certainly by no means heavy, but it, it has still a rock sensibility about it, courtesy of that, uh, that bass. Um, and that just melds so well with the two guitarists. Uh, I reckon Wilson Piper and Coppers are arguably the best combination of guitarists of any band I've listened to. Um, Marty is sort of big on the effects and, and pyrotechnics, and Peter Coppers gets that real low-end sound. And uh, together, you know, they, they produced sounds on so many tracks that just sounded dark and slightly brooding and yet still with a poppy sort of feel. And this track is symptomatic of that and pretty representative of the whole Heyday album. But I can't think of another track um, that I've ever listened to and continue to listen to, which creates such um, rich imagery in my head as this one does and if you have a listen if you haven't heard it have a listen to it with that youtube film clip you'll see exactly what i'm talking about they are a fantastic band and great that they're still going in some capacity albeit not with the original lineup but uh, i could easily do a top 50 church songs but uh, if push comes to shove i'd always nominate this as number one just a beautiful beautiful song and uh, says everything you need to know about why the church have been such a great band for so long. So there it is, number three on this list, Murr by the Church from 1985. I'll be back shortly with the top two.